Hey everybody, I want to show you how to create a slideshow in iMovie. So we're going to first gather all of our photos and music. And over here on my desktop, I have photos from a vacation my wife and I took, and I have a song, Cheerleader. Uh, this, this song I downloaded for free from the local library. However, a word of warning, if you put in a song like this, um, which is a copywritten song, you might face problems uploading it onto YouTube. But let's move forward and I'll show you where you can find some songs that you won't have to worry about. So iMovie, if it's on your dock, looks like a purple star. Let's go and find it, uh, assuming it's not on your dock, okay? We're going into the finder, which should be in your dock, and it is the bottom left-hand corner over here, the smiley face. So in the finder, on the left-hand side, under favorites, is your applications folder. In your applications folder, you can find iMovie. You have a choice. You can obviously just click it here, or if you want it to be in your dock so that it's easier to find for next time, you click it and drag it to your dock. All right, so let's open up iMovie and put together a slideshow. Now when iMovie opens, it's going to bring you here uh, to, to your media and your projects. If you're not here, you're going to click on projects and bring you here. So we're going to create a new project and we're going to choose movie. Trailer is an awful lot of fun to play with, uh, but for our purposes right now, we're going to make a slideshow. So we want to select movie. All right. So now it says drag and drop video clips and photos from the browser above to start creating your movie. Now up here, my media is empty. Now I can import media um, or I can simply go back to my desktop and drag it in, either one at a time, or I can select all of them and drag them all in at once. And you will see iMovie will put them all in. So let's get rid of this for right now. And then I'm going to zoom out. That's this right here is the zoom. So I'm zooming out. There are all of my photos. All right. When iMovie ingests photos like this, it sets all of them to Ken Burns effect, which I'll press play and show you what that means. It's zooming in or zooming out uh, or panning. It's like watching a Ken Burns documentary. So each photo is going to zoom in or zoom out. And that was automatic. Now, each photo is also four seconds long. You can change that on each individual one by either clicking it and then dragging it shorter or longer. Okay. Or let's say you want to do more than one at a time. The easiest way I've found is if you select all, which is generally going to be control A, select all right there, uh, command A, excuse me. Good. And then up in the top right hand corner is the I for clip information. And then it has your duration right there. So we're going to set the duration for all 51 items to eight seconds. Eight seconds there. Now each one is eight seconds long. All right, of course, anytime you want to undo something, you go up to Edit, Undo, or Command Z. So now they're all back at four seconds. Let me show you how to bring in a piece of music. You can, of course, import media. In fact, I'll show you what it looks like when you do so. Okay, import media. We are going to allow. All right, now on my desktop, cheerleader. I also, of course, I could have just gone to my desktop and dragged it in. It works either way. Now you can move it around. It doesn't have to go with the first clip. You click it and drag it. If you want to fade in to the beginning of the song, you would find this tiny little circle here right at the beginning. 
and drag that to the right and that fades it in. Or if you want to change the volume of the entire song, see this line that's going right down the center of it? You put your cursor over the line and drag the line down. It's now at 45% volume, now at 89% volume, back at 100 and even more if it's too quiet. All right, now I'm going to remove this song from the video and show you where you can find some other music. If you have iTunes installed and you have your music in iTunes, you can click on audio up in the top and all of your songs will be there. Now remember, it would be under music. Now remember, uh, using songs that are copywritten could cause problems when uploading to YouTube. You can search Google for royalty-free music, some of which you will have to pay for, or iMovie itself comes with a bunch of royalty-free music already. So we're going to click sound effects, okay, and then search for jingles. The jingles are pre-made songs. You have short ones, uh, for example. You also have long ones, and I have mine sorted by time. I just clicked on time to go down to the long ones here, and you can hear some of the long ones. I'm just going to put one of these in here so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So once again, I'm going to find that little dot and fade in on it. So here we go. Now, let's say, well, let's go to the end here. Look, we are out of music for these, so we'll choose another one and put that one in. Good. Look, I'm even going to overlap them a little bit. See what just happened there? So now we have them overlapped. I want to crossfade so that they fade into each other, so I'm going to take this and bring it over. That's fading out the first song, and then I'm going to fade in the second song. There we go. So we just crossfaded the music. This is pretty close to the end here. If this were the case in real life, I would probably find one or two photos I, I could do without and just remove them. Now, you'll notice this one is a video. And I dragged and dropped it in, and it just exists as part of that. And when I change the duration of the other things, um, I might have changed the duration of this too. So heads up on your videos can always make it shorter or longer. All right. So that is how you add music. There are other things, of course, that you can do. Uh, there are transitions up top here. If you want to change the way you go between photos, uh, you can drag a transition in between any two photos. You can change the order of photos by clicking it and moving it. Now, this photo, this photo, this photo are examples of photos where we might want to change the uh, Ken Burns effect. For example, in this one, it's cutting off the bottom of my wife's head at the beginning and even worse by the end of it. So I'm going to click on it and then go up to the crop tool right here and it's going to show me the Ken Burns effect that it has here. We have the start and the end. Now the start, since I want to get both of us in here, I'm going to start, here I'll start up on my face, and then I'll drag the end down to make sure it gets my wife's total face, so that it's cutting me off by the end. So here's what it looks like now. All right. So that is how you piece together a uh, slideshow in iMovie and how you add music to it. Once again, you can add any song that you want. You would just drag it in from wherever the file exists. Um, but don't forget about the audio ones here. Okay? Last but not least, okay, we have to get this movie to iTunes. Or to uh, YouTube, excuse me. So, uh, over here in the top right-hand corner is the share button. Okay? 
and then you can share to YouTube or you can share to email uh, you can share for Facebook or you can just share to a file and most of the time that's what I'm doing is I'm sharing to a file and then logging into YouTube and uploading there now the settings are, are going to be fine 1080p can change the title and this is going to be Europe next and I'm going to save it on my desktop make it simple save and then when this is done you see it right here this shows the work being done when this is done uh, I will upload it to YouTube I'm going to save it right now by clicking back on projects titling it Europe and then there it is all right I hope you have found this useful uh, any questions please email me scottpanfill at gmail.com and I'll see what I can do to help thank you